So you're going to have your basement or some storage area spray foamed insulation and you've decided that you don't want this texture uh, and that you want to make it smooth and you don't want to build a wall on the outside of it uh, like stud out uh, a wall and then put some other covering on there and that is the situation I found myself in and I also wanted to paint it because I wasn't building uh, a wall outside of it so um, first of all for painting it if you're going to paint this stuff uh, I was not successful in doing it with a roller. Some people say that if you get a really, really like shag carpet deep roller, then you can roll it um, with paint. It'll take a ton of paint and very, be very frustrating as far as I'm concerned. Uh, one way that I did do certain areas um, with this is I put uh, white latex paint in a garden sprayer that you pump up and uh, use it for like spraying pesticides and stuff like that. or van people use them for um, converting them into like little um, portable showers so you can pump them up and they have a sprayer on them. So I put latex um, paint in one of those and watered it down and very crudely was able to um, wand the paint over starting at the top and it'll run down and uh, so that was very crude. I later went to a compressor for this uh, type of stuff, a compressor sprayer, which um, which will fill the area with um, white or whatever color you're using dust very very dirty um, anyway so if you've decided that you don't want this texture how do you do it well here's what I did uh, I think it's very common now that it's not actually the spray foam that's the top coat it's they put on the spray foam and then they come back the next day or in a couple days and they spray on top of it a water-based concrete mixture that takes about a week to dry and I asked him is this a water-based uh, top coat and he said yes it is I said no more when they left I went and got uh, just a plastic um, scraper smoother thing and I just did this while it was still really wet and started smoothing it out. And then painted it after it was dry. And you know it's dry because it goes from being a dark, dark beige to a very light beige. Um, so it's far from perfect, but it is not that pebble nightmare um, if you want to try and um, paint it. So if you look up, you'll see I didn't do a lot of, you know, the surrounding areas. Um, but all the main walls that I do photo shoots against or I have workbenches against, I um, scrape these all down while it's still wet. And I scraped it down in such a way that um, you don't want any foam showing through. You don't want to thin this out. This is a fire retardant. It's there for a reason. But um, that's how I did it. I don't know if there's going to be any uh, technical drawbacks to it, but it's dried nice and hard. And I painted it. And so now I'm starting to put my stuff back in place. Um, yeah, so. Um, oh, and the other thing is that for a lot of this areas that I that I scraped down flat I used a really thick roller um, paint roller and I was able to roll it I don't think you're gonna get away with that on the um, uh, on the stuff that you don't flatten out I'm also painting on the floors it makes the bright the basement nice and bright much easier to work in and uh, so a lot of these areas are done. So that area behind my workbenches um, is done, and it's it's a it's a fair amount of work. So, um, and I advise you to put some um, covering on the floor if you're going to do it, because you're going to have a lot of stuff falling off as you smooth. Um, but this area is left all textured, and uh, and that's the way it's going to stay. And I was able to spray. Um, water on there. I mean spray uh, paint on there. 
and uh, yeah so that's how that's how I got the uh, spray foam insulation smooth uh, I don't believe it's code anymore to actually just put spray foam insulation I believe they almost have to put the uh, fire retardant cement like mixture on top of it now um, I've been told that if you just put if your home just has foam and you have a house fire the firefighters may well just let it burn down because uh, the um, toxicity level of the gases coming off burning foam is so horrible that uh, they won't risk their lives to uh, try and you know save that place um, that's what I was told don't know 100% if that's true but I uh, based on working with a bit of styrofoam and stuff over the years um, I don't doubt it's true anyway that's how I did that Hope you like and subscribe for more crazy things I come up with. Once I bought an old house in the country And I looked out my window and there was a surprise for me There's bunnies in my yard, there's bunnies in my yard They're hopping all around but they never go far There's bunnies in my yard, there's bunnies in my yard And these are the bunnies I know Yeah, early in the morning, I look out my window And there to my surprise were some ducks I know Yeah, there's duckies in my yard, duckies in my yard They're quacking all around, but they never go far There's duckies in my yard, duckies in my yard And these are the duckies I know Sometimes in the morning, I put out some seed For all the little birdies that sing for me Yeah, there's birdies in my yard, birdies in my yard They're singing all around, but they never go far There's birdies in my yard, there's birdies in my yard And these are the birdies I know Now I looked out my window 